Hey guys, so here are Stu and today I the Delopin Lego Black Marvel vs DC Super Heroes 8 pack minifigures. Uh, so obviously it's uh, from Delopin uh, Marvel vs DC. So yeah, I can see it's recommended for just 5 craft and the set DLP 9050. So each of the minifigures uh, comes with these all these mini builds which I won't uh be which I won't build and you know review in this video because yeah it, it's just it takes a lot of time so yeah I'll only show the biggest build which show you have to combine all of these uh builds so yeah but uh so the first one you got invincible Iron Man from Detroit Steel Strikes and you got Asian Venom uh Deadpool from Deadpool movie and a white uh, white suit uh, Dark Knight Batman and you also got uh, Superman and uh, Captain America from the first Avenger uh, the, his suit Weapon X Royal Reign obviously from X-Men Apocalypse and also this Hulk uh, Which doesn't come with any builds though, but yeah, it's uh, from the Hulk vs. Uh, Red Hulk set I believe so yeah so this is the top of the box here. Uh, so you can see shows you the the biggest build, which is this. So yeah, I will be showing this in the video. But yeah, all of the tops they are the same. So yeah, the side of the box. Uh, you can see shows you uh the the weapons that they came with, and yeah, uh, you can see Superman doesn't come with any weapons. So yeah, they just show that he got his sh uh this mini build, which kind of sucks. But yeah, uh, you know, shows you how to build a figure. And let's move to the other side. So uh, the R side here shows you the you know the characters themselves with their names on it. So yeah. So this is the bottom of the box. So they are all the same, and the back of the box they are also all the same. So you can see it shows you Captain America's little jet build, and you also got the full May figures in the set. So yeah, that's it for the box. So uh, these are the instructions here, so I'll just speed it up uh, so that you won't see this instruction for long, so yeah. So that's it. So the first main figure here is uh, Invincible Iron Man. Uh, so you can see he has this really nice uh, helmet here. And yeah, uh, it's the same mode from the official Lego, of course. So uh, you got the the eyes and everything, and the gold uh, plaything. And yeah, so the the torso printing looks really good. You got the art character there, and the printing kind of like shines a little bit. So yeah, that's cool. And the light printing looks really good as well. And yeah, you got this. Uh, you got the studs and the cylinder pieces as a uh, flying fat. And yeah. Uh, the back printing looks good too, and yeah. So removing his uh, helmet here, you can see you got Tony Stark's uh, face. So you got his angry face and everything. So yeah, uh, let's compare it to the Shingon's version of uh, Invincible Iron Man. So uh, this is uh, the Shingon's version of Invincible Iron Man uh, from the Kreut Steel Strikes, obviously. Uh, As so you can see, the Delapins, uh Printing is uh you know the helmet printing is uh you know much more uh shinier uh so it stands out more than the Shingon one and yeah uh the Shingon one uh they are both um the helmet is the exact same mold but the printing they are on a different position you know but the Shingon one does look uh better and the Delpin one looks um it looks fine but. It, it just looks like a uh, Lego bootleg figure, so you know, uh, and yeah, but the but my uh, my invincible Iron Man has this um, like printing problem with with uh, this uh, torso print. Uh, it it kind of like moved the side a bit, so yeah. But you know, uh, removing the helmet, um, Tony Stark's face. So you can see a uh, Delpin one. Uh, 
it's not so accurate because the printing is way too big and the shiny on one is much more accurate and yeah so this is the back you got their angry faces so yeah you can see shiny on one uh, looks better because the Delpin one the printing is just uh, way too big so yeah but the uh, you know like that's it so next here is uh, Agent Venom uh, so you can see he's armed with uh, this kind of a uh, web piece which is not what um, the box shows so yeah I'll assume it's a different batch and yeah so let's just remove that so you can see uh, his face here looks really good uh, you got the spire eyes there and yeah the torture printing looks um, like yeah the design of it just looks really great you know you got the big spider in the middle yeah and you got the, the legs and everything and yeah so the uh, the hip here, you can see you got, um, you know, some ammunition, the pouches and everything. And yeah, the light printing could be uh, useful for like some military figures. So yeah, but, you know, looks uh, really armored up. And yeah, no back hand printing, but yeah, does have uh, back torso printing, which is uh, pretty much the same one as the front one. And you know, you also got the printing on the back uh, hip. So yeah looks uh, really good so yeah I don't have any Agent Venom to compare so yeah but uh, that's it so the third figure here is uh, Deadpool from uh, the movie of course and yeah so you can see he's armed with uh, both of these uh, silver pistols which is nice to get it uh, rather than the usual uh, black and yeah uh, the back you can see got the, the katana holder with uh, two of these silver katanas which is also nice and yeah, uh, so the hair printing looks uh, good, you know, you got the eyes, the white eyes, and yeah, the torso printing looks uh, good too, you got a strap there, and you know, you got the zip going through the middle, and you know, you got this uh, logo kind of thing, and yeah, the leg printing looks good too, you know, you got the strap, both of the straps there, and you also, uh, he also got uh, the boots, and yeah, um, the back is you can see got a little bit of a back hip printing and removing this holder uh, you can see the back uh, you got this strap thing and you, know, you got some pouches on the back for some extra ammunition and yeah so uh, no like a uh, leg printing or like anything but yeah so uh, the fourth figure here is uh, the Dark Knight Batman in uh, white and yeah I'm not sure what the, this is uh, really called or yeah who made or who made the custom it could be developing themselves but probably not and yeah I, I can't uh, find it on the internet so yeah I'm not sure where it is from but you can see you got white barrel which is really nice to get and the cape is the old style cape uh, I'm tired of uh, getting the old style ones because it's uh, really hard to put uh, these figures in the vehicles uh, so yeah, that that sucks. But you can see the cow here is the new style cow, and yeah, it's in white. So nice to get it. So yeah, uh, the torso printing looks good. You got the bass symbol in the middle, and you know you got the 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 bat utility belt. Looks good, and yeah, you just got some uh, armor printing. The light printing looks good too, and yeah, so. This is the back. You can see uh, you got some pouches there on the utility belt and you know some armor printing. And yeah, it does have a back leg printing, which is uh, great. And removing the cow here. You can see you got his uh, kind of like I don't know what, what this is. But yeah, it, it like the mouth just looks really weird. But yeah, so this is the front expression, kind of nah expression. So yeah, the expression for this main figure is uh, very like very unique, very special. So yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. So yeah, that's it for uh, Batman. So the next figure here is a uh, Superman. So I'm not sure what um what kind of a uh, variant or uh, version of Superman this is. But yeah, so you can see he has uh, his um his normal Superman hair. Uh, it's not the new one, but yeah. Uh, you got the hard cape, and you know the the torso printing looks really good. You got the Superman symbol there, and you know uh, you got his kind of belt part, 
and yeah the light print thing looks really good you guys boots and the back print thing it looks really good too and yeah does have back leg print thing which is nice and yeah does have an alternate expression which is his um, uh, laser vision face so yeah that's it for so this is the sixth uh, figure and yeah uh, this is Captain America from the first Avenger movie and yeah, as you can see you guys uh, shoot there and yeah you can see he does have uh, his helmet but I believe this helmet is um, from the Avengers movie the first Avengers movie so yeah that's kind of not accurate and yeah this thing just looks really bad too but yeah uh, you can see under the helmet uh, you got this uh, Captain America face, but it does look pretty weird. No alternate expression though, but yeah, you can see got star day and you know you got the straps, uh, you guys belt. This has some leg print thing. And yeah, so the back uh, you got more straps there. And yeah, it looks uh, really nice. It's kind of jumpsuit thing and yeah, but the the helmet looks really weird. Uh, like they could have just made it uh, look like flash helmet without the the side parts but yeah so yeah the, that's it so uh, this is the weapon X Wolverine from uh, X-Men Apocalypse so uh, you can see he does have uh, his claws there and you know you guys normal hairstyle and yeah so you can see the torso printing uh, you know you got a lot of the hair there and you, know, you got this both, both of these wraps and you also got this uh, wiring and yeah you got this device here I'm not sure what it is but you got more of these hair and yeah so the back uh, you got all these um, I don't know mechanical stuff or you know just devices and yeah uh, as you can see uh, this is his alternate expression which is the 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 alternate expression which you know uh, with uh, the his helmet or his uh, kind of cow thing so yeah but it does look really weird so that's why I use the this face so yeah but um, you know aside from that that's uh, really it for uh, weapon X Wolverine last but not least this is Hulk so you can see he does have uh, this wrench which is um, you know nice to I guess but yeah uh, he does comes with uh, the base plate which is nice too and yeah so this is the Hulk from the Hulk vs Red Hulk set so yeah it's uh, nice to get it and you can see uh, the green skin is uh, light green uh, looks much more different and yeah he has a uh, dark green hair and you can see guys really angry face but you can turn his head a little bit and yeah uh, his toes are not printed they are molded so yeah that's nice and you got uh, his purple pants and yeah you know we can remove the hair piece which is really hard but yeah so this is his face there but yeah so I guess uh, that's really it for all of the figures. So uh, this is Captain America's uh, jet build here. So you can see uh, it's kind of in a midi scale, you know, because it's uh, not so big. And yeah, it's uh, kind of almost uh, in size with the uh, the normal one. And yeah, so you can see the front here, you got this uh, printed piece, which you know shows Captain America's uh, shield. So yeah, I guess it's uh, nice and you know, uh, the copy got this little um, steering wheel and you know, you got a little spot for Captain America to sit on but I won't put it in because it's really hard to remove it but yeah, you got kind of a backrest here with a grill piece and you know, you also got this uh, blue, blue uh, stud here and you know the wings you can kind of move around they're on hinge you got this blue and white stripe and you got this uh, slope part here and you got this fin and you got the like kind of tail lights but yeah it's um you know just uh, just a stud and you also got uh, four of these uh exhausts so this is the bottom and yep yeah, so uh, not much else to this build so overall conclusion, how do I think of this set? Uh, well, it's a nice set, I guess. The minifigures, um, yeah, uh, a Weapon X Wolverine and uh, 
and Agent Venom is definitely a really nice uh, figures and yeah Superman is weird Deadpool is okay not so great Captain America I like the torso and the helmet but it's just the hair print looks weird and yeah, Iron Man is nice to get Hulk is nice to get too uh, Batman it looks good you know nice to get another version of it and the build is okay not so great though but yeah so overall this set is a it's a really great set uh, you get a lot of exclusive May figures and yeah so overall I do recommend you getting this set uh, you know even if you have uh, these May figures in official Lego form but yeah so by so this uh, down in the description box below along with all of my social media pages down in the description so if you're in the job physical, I'll turn it into bricks. I'll put a link down in the description box below as well. But thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you very soon.